how to create an access control policy with the Firepower Management Center. Hi there, I'm Divya Nair, a technical marketing engineer with Cisco's Security Business Group. And in this video, we're going to walk through the steps required to create an access control policy on the Firepower Management Center or FMC. Please note that the FMC version used in this demo is 6.2.0. The access control policy on the FMC is one of its key features and is used to decide what action to take based on different types of traffic. It is similar to the access group feature on the traditional ASAs, but provides more functionality and granularity. Let's see how that is. First of all, an access control policy is a combination of multiple access control rules. Each rule consists of the following elements. Traffic matching criteria, which could be a security zone, IP addresses, or URL categories. Action on matching traffic, which can be trust, block, allow, or monitor with a few variations. And the IPS and or file policy, which can be applied on the allow action. Let's create a new access policy on the FMC to allow internet access. Here we can enter the name of the policy and an optional description. Now each device registered to your FMC can have only one access control policy applied to it. So you can either create a single policy for each of the devices that you have, or you can take advantage of a hierarchical access policy structure in order to create a base policy with common settings and a more specific inherited policy. If you choose to configure a hierarchical policy, select the base policy. For this example, we will use a standalone policy, so I'm selecting none. When you first create a new access control policy, it will only have a default action. The default action allows you to either block, inspect, or allow traffic. On the left, you get a list of registered devices on the FMC to map to the policy. We will select the HQ FTD device. Now that we have created a policy, let's go ahead and add rules to it. Click on Edit. In here, you have a mandatory and a default section which lies above the default action. These sections in practice are more relevant to the hierarchical access control policy model. For now, we only have to remember that the traffic is processed top down till the first rule is matched. Click on add rule. Assign a name to the rule and check the enabled box. We will be inserting the rule into the mandatory section. There are multiple actions that we can select as you can see over here. Since we would like to allow outbound internet traffic in this example, the action is set to allow. Next, we have to select the actual criteria to match the traffic. As you can see here, there are various options. In our example, we will select our source zone as inside and destination zone as outside. Furthermore, we will specify our source network as the HQ LAN and the destination network as any IPv4 traffic. Since our action was set to allow, we can configure an IPS policy or file policy for this traffic. We will select the balanced security over connectivity IPS policy here. We will also configure logging for this rule. Click on add and save. Now have an access control policy to allow internet access. Let's deploy this onto our FTD device. There you go. Now this is a simple example and as you can see, there are many other options to configure. The FMC configuration guides are your best source for detailed information on these options. Thanks and have a great day.